Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing uh, Gunrunner's Paradise now, the first uh, the first of the Dutch levels. This is one of those ones that uh, seems difficult going in, like it's, it's really easy to have no idea what the fuck you're doing, but it's actually really easy once you know. Uh, slightly luck dependent, but you'll see what I mean. It's really fast if you know what to do. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. That again, I have edited it to make it larger, so it's a tiny on my screen. Yay. Welcome to Rotterdam. Your next target is the man who supplied Lee Hong and Pablo with weapons, a notorious gun runner, Ar Arkadijid Boris. Boris is hiding on his ship somewhere in the harbor of Rotterdam, but we do not know the exact location. We have information that a local Dutch gang has arrived to purchase some of Boris's merchandise. By tracking them, we might be able to locate the ship. Our intelligence department has stumbled across a weird fact that you should know. It seems that Li Hong, Boris, Franz Fux, and Pablo all served in the French Legion together. If that isn't if that is a coincidence, it's one weird coincidence. Diana Burnwood. Alright, so we need to place a GPS tracker on the gang car. Then move the GPS tracker to the money suitcase and give the suitcase to Ivan. Basically, we're hoping that some guy called Ivan will lead us to Boris. So we need to figure out where the money is by tracking a gang car, then track the suitcase and give it to Ivan and hope it leads us back to Boris. Hmm. This is Ivan. He looks weird. Real hardcore criminal. Sturdy and composed. That's... Did they write that description before they voice acted the guy? Because he doesn't sound sturdy and composed. All right, so this map looks big and intimidating. Because all these like fen all these uh, lines here are fences yeah. that you need to ram trains through. Now you remember how in the assassination of Li Hong, um, the jade statue was in one of four random uh, safes that we needed to figure out. This has yep. that same mechanic of the gang car will go to one of a few random warehouses. So we need to change the tracks of the trains depending on that. There's a chance that if we don't change the track right at the very beginning of the stage, um, I've had it happen. And this is something people get very confused about where you continually fail the mission automatically. And you're like, why the fuck did I fail the mission automatically? There is a chance that if you do not immediately tell the train to go elsewhere, uh, the train will hit a gang member on patrol who's walking along the track. His body will get seen by another gang member and it'll cause Ivan to get skittish and flee. It is clearly a glitch. It is not intended at all. It doesn't even always happen. But on the safe side, if you always change the train track right at the beginning, it seems like if you do that right away, that little thing that just bugs out your mission will never happen. So just... <laughs> If you're wondering why I do that, that at the start when it's not even necessary, it's to prevent a glitch. All right, uh, I want... I want... I'll take a silenced pistol as backup, but I'm also going to take the MP5 silenced, which is this bottom one, because there is a shootout you have to do here. I'm also going to take a Kevlar body vest, and I will take a compass, and I will take a knife. How expensive is that compass? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, which seems oh no, it's okay. sixty. Eighty. Sixty is excessive. Eighty. That's excessive for a compass. Yeah, eighty. That's a lot for a compass. Oh, we're allowed to look at things again. Does that mean we can look at the fiber wire? Yeah, that's metal. Yeah, that's metal. Yeah, that's metal. Obviously. Okay. Um, I I don't remember if it's on my head if your gear transfers over from the first stage to the second one on this one. It might, I don't remember if it's on my head a whole bunch, but this stuff would set you up for both levels anyway. Hmm. Rotterdam Harbor. It's not exactly a tourist resort. But then again, I'm not here for a vacation either. All right, just immediately hit this. Again, it bypasses a chance at a glitch. It'll just make the train go in circles around this left track. And also just immediately just knife this guy out in the open, take his clothes, take his Uzi, and then run away from it. Uh, train's not gonna hit me, is it? It might. I'm good. You will get skittish about that guy? Uh, no, because if you stand far enough away from the body, then even if people on patrol were to walk over the body, they wouldn't realize it exists. 
it's a weird glitch in the game. Uh, so by the time that anyone could notice that body, uh, I will have bypassed the part where that matters. You need a gang outfit to be able to get in here. Here we go. Just talk to the owner. That girl has a lot of talent. Yeah, man. In all the right places. I'm kind of her manager, if you'd like an introduction. Is she a good talker? She's a good dancer. If you like, I could arrange a private session, maybe. Set me up for a meeting. Tell you what, if you wait for her in her dressing room backstage, she'll be right with you after the show. Cool beer? I didn't know that Rotterdam was in southern Ontario. All right, we just sweet in her dressing room. It's tiny and shitty. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. the show's over. Yeah, it just came out, though. Yeah, it just happens when you come in here. Hi, I'm Sandy. What can I do for you? I have this guy watching my car out front. How about treating him to a good time on my account? Now I'm disappointed. I thought you were my date. No. Now where's this friend of yours? <laughs> Outside. No. I'll be there in 20 seconds. There we go. So this is the distraction for the car. If they had found, like, any bodies or anything at this point, or shootout starts, then they would just take off with the car. I thought you were my date. No. Oh, handsome. How about some company? Uh, well, actually, I, uh... Come on. Let's play a little game. Um, okay, I, I guess I can leave the car unattended for a few minutes. All what right. a shitty guard. Yeah, so we just kind of wait for him to turn the corner, and then we can attach a GPS transmitter. Why doesn't, she, why doesn't he just go in the car with her? Yeah, I don't know. All right, I think we're clear. Oh, and I teleported to this side anyway. Okay. Oh, so she's enormous. Yeah, she's huge, right? Like, it's not even just the heels. She's just giant. Yeah. And now I just need to wait for him to drive off in his car, and he'll pick one of the random warehouses, and then, uh, then, then we're good. Stand over there. She just kind of leans on a pole a little. Just because it's oh, it's reusing an animation from inside, and he just looks at her. Like pole dance on a fucking light post. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's literally just reusing the animation from inside as he stares, not even really at her some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're done. That was that it. Was a, yeah. That was a short date yeah I, I guess uh now we just uh we just wait for the car to drive off and we can follow it which i recommend uh because then you get to see something fun <laughs> if you follow the car when it drives uh then you get to see it when it enters the the warehouse right so you don't even need the yeah. gps really but you're supposed to um I, I believe he won't actually drive off until you put the gps so, oh, oh, he's going that way. He's going that way. Now, we probably won't see it because I think it is faster than me. However, uh, amazingly enough, he will drive through the gate and just not break it. All right, we, let's oh. set the, uh, the compass and the GPS receiver. There we go. So you can see that dot there. There's the train I told just go on a loop there. So the car is... Is it at this one? Because there's the dogs there? Probably. That nope. one. I think I actually already knocked that one open, didn't I? Or have I not watched the train hit it? Oh, no, the train's going forward. We wanted to go to the left. Okay, so right now that's going straight. That's good. So we wanted to go left here and it'll bash its way in. Now, weirdly enough, the dogs... Um, you know how if you open carry a weapon that your disguise isn't supposed to have, then people just open fire? If yep. dogs see you with a weapon, then they open fire as well. <laughs> so, uh, the dogs will just look at me, but if I pull out a gun in unison, they all charge. Oh. Yeah, it's very confusing. Now, I believe I need to fight them anyway, because I, I have to start a shootout, so... You know, I'm just gonna position myself well for this. I'm gonna show you it, because it's really funny. I'm expecting this is just going to look like complete and utter shit. Oh, it looks just terrible. The the dog attack thing. Now, if when the car goes through here, it just phases through like there's no animation. It's just it's just an asset of a car sliding through it and nothing happens. But this, they they bothered to at least animate that, which actually looked pretty good. 
Uh, yeah, now, the dog assault is wonderful. All right. Oh, that one actually got anger, but if I pull my gun, there we go. Then they, they all know. The dogs know that this guy is the bad guy. That's a really shitty and also tiny train. There we go. If anyone gets on me for killing dogs in this game, you, you kind of have to. There we go. But they can comment about how horrible you are for killing uh, Whisper. Yeah. Well, That's obviously, allowed. yeah. I'll never fucking escape the comments of uh, how horrible of a person I am in real life for killing Whisper in a fucking video game. He's a horrible person yeah. in, a, you know, in a video game that's, you know, pretty good. All right, so we're taking our GPS thing back so that we can use on the suitcase later. Make sure to get that ahead of time. Uh, and we're going to switch to the MP5 silenced to clear this place. So this place is going to be full of enemies. Now, what we need to do is kill all of them, and then we have three minutes to hide the bodies from Ivan. If he sees a body, he gets skittish and he runs. Amazingly enough, though, he does not care if he sees bodies of a bunch of dead dogs. You can't, you can't actually move them. He also doesn't care if he sees blood, so the place is gonna be covered in blood. He's gonna have to step over dead dogs and pools of blood to find me. All right. All right. All right, come on, come on, where are y'all? All righty then. Oop. I'm just strategically closing it. Why the door closed? <laughs> yep. That's how I cover myself when I'm reloading. Who's left? There's gotta be like another guy. I think it's all of them. Oh jeez, here comes the hitman. Slides the door closed. There we go. Ivan will be here in three minutes. Okay, so we gotta move fast. The best place to hide the bodies, if you ask me, is right here. Yes, they fit in here. <laughs> Just barely. I can put away my gun. He doesn't care if he sees a bunch of guns on the floor, thankfully. I think he cares if you're open carrying a gun. And I believe he'll always come in through that front door there. But again, just be really safe. You have enough time. Just don't waste time and you'll be fine getting everybody into here. Flaming windmills. Yeah, that's their uh, gang name. It's weird. Also, um, am I dragging him by the head? That's a glitch. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> it looks really funny. I think it's supposed to be by his collar, but still. I've literally never seen that. That is incredible. Okay. Uh, and again, you do drag slightly faster if you're strafing. Whoa. Which Whoa. Make any Whoa. Sense. <laughs> hey, I've never. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Glitch out so you yeah. can just walk normal. Yeah, you can. You can <laughs> if you kind of, <laughs> if you kind of go diagonally, you can sprint with the body. <laughs> oh, I, I've played this game for years. How did I never know that? <laughs> That's really good. Okay. All right, everybody. That's uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just you hold either left or right uh, strafe while holding sprint, and it does that. Okay, first of all, take that, and uh, the GPS transmitter. He'll put it in there. Man, that's oh, obvious. They never <laughs> Gee, I wonder if he'll <laughs> notice. All right, did I get all the bodies? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. He'll be here in one minute. Okay. Uh, which side has the car? I believe it always comes in the side of the car. This side? Okay. Uh, side with the two dogs. We wait here for uh, one minute, and then he'll be here. Um, all right. Normally, you'd have like 30 seconds or so left after you drag all the bodies, but um, hey. <laughs> now that you know you can sprint with them. You know, I've watched walkthroughs on this game before, too. I've never seen anyone do that. How did I not know that's a thing in the game? I, you know, I've never watched a speedrun of this game. I bet you the speedrunners use that. Probably. Oh my god. The best part is I accidentally hit shift. It was just reflex for going forward in this game. Because the way running in this game works is it's not a toggle. It's, um, it's just a button you hold and you run forwards. 
at sprinting speed. And if you hold strafe at the same time, then you go diagonally in that direction. So, uh, yeah. you know. All right, Ivan has arrived. You should be seeing him any second. And then you just kind of stand near him and wait until the cutscene triggers, because he does need to walk into the room enough for it to trigger. Don't fuck around, though, because once he's walked in enough for it to trigger, he'll start, like, following you around the place until you get close enough. So he could follow you past a body. So just, you know, be close to him. Did he come in the other way? No, he just hasn't come in yet. He's really taking his time. There he is. Whoa! Yep, yeah, he looks like the he's Mad Hatter. A, he's got a goofy walk. Now remember, he's cool and composed. I have your money here. Where are my weapons? <clears throat> your merchandise can be collected in the appointed warehouse. The samples look promising. Let's do business again sometime. I want my money! Give it to me! Okay, okay, calm down. Here it is. What the fuck? Okay, hey, bye. Bye. Nice limo. Yep. Oh, I thought he was just gonna run away without the car. Oh, for a second I thought that was gonna hit him. It would have been game over if he died. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have been awful because this is the end of the mission. Like it's about to trigger. Just drives off to nowhere in particular. And end of mission. If that fucking train hit him, I'd have been pissed. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, success. Yeah. Alright, next we're going uh, towards... Sorry, what, was uh, that a vampire? <laughs> no. The fuck was that picture? No, I know. Flash my pretty fast. But next mission, everybody, is probably the hardest mission in the game and the third from final episode. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.